My advice will be that they take a two-stage process. One, to carefully screen the undocumented and make them documented so you know who you're dealing with. Make sure they have a sufficient amount of time in the labor market to be attached to it. Then the second step would be to go from a regular documented immigrant to full citizenship without any penalty. To do this once and then change your immigration policy so you don't end up with 15 million more people illegally. I'm from Canada and language is very important in the Canadian context because we have two official languages and many more unofficial languages. English and French are the languages of the labor market. If you don't have those, you put aside in a smaller labor market, you're ghettoized, your earnings fall. So it isn't as if you're totally penalized and not in poverty, but there is a sacrifice and that is an earnings penalty. I'm worried that it won't. It's taken the blue card out and hasn't been very successful, not just because they picked the wrong name for it, but because they're under stiff competition. And the competition is not at the immigration level, it's at the university level. All major countries uh, in, in, uh, who have foreign students are now granting them not only uh, immigrant status upon graduation, but fast-tracking them to citizenship. This, again, has made it much more competitive for Germany, which does not use English as a first language, and that's what the students mainly learn, so it's going to be tough competition. The best way to, do, to document the role of IZA in research is to look at the project that I'm on, working on now, which is the legalization of undocumented immigrants to citizenship in the United States. This was not an issue seven years ago when we started it here. We look at fundamental issues usually well in advance of the policymaker. Now when this issue comes forward, we have a body of scientific evidence to put on the table and suggest which way to go and why. And I think the importance is that we support here speculative or imaginative research before it becomes topical.